Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. This is Jogo Royalty and today we are going to use the new product in the channel and I have a makeup revolution shook I should have had that we're going to use and if you are interested and if you are ready let's head right to this makeup tutorial. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel and this is Jogo Royalty. Today I'm going to show you the new palette that I have and by the way I found this eyelash glue from Clix and I couldn't take my eyes off it I had to take it and as you can hear you guys my voice is still not very well I've been battling with flu and I decided not to do a voiceover I don't think my, my camera is well suited it's not it's definitely not balanced all right I think I may have done a justice to this camera. It looks like my shoulder are seated the same place. It looks like it's well balanced right now because I've been battling the thing of filming from one area to another. You have to adjust the camera stand, the tripod. Now it, it gives me some struggles. I have two new products that I'm going to incorporate in this channel today. The first one, it is the Duo Clue and is a two-in-one brush on stripe lashes adhesive and on the other side uh, let's check it out they said this side it is clear and this side it is a black lash glue so that way today's eyelashes we're going to use it and this will be my first time and i hope i'm going to love it for life and when i had it it was on special i think it was an introductory special at clicks but when i get to the chill honey it was way too expensive than i expected but luckily they gave me with the price that i saw at the show so another bag in, in our pocket and then the second product i'm going to then incorporate today it is this makeup revolution shook eyeshadow palette and i think when i first saw it at clicks it was during the december it was part of the december's gifting kind of and that is why today it was special and when i got it it was around 315 rand it was coming from 400 rand to being 315. i don't like to unbox on camera because these things you guys can can just show you some flames okay they can show you some flames i don't really like to unbox on camera it's a eyeshadow palette that has about 36 eyeshadows and they said it has six transitioning shades which i believe it could be this first row is those six transitioning shades and then the rest is your matte and your shimmers and your glitters i think i see about two glitters feature and adult they look more like glitters and the rest according to my eyes they look more like shimmers and this one is a ambition it is matte but it has some sparkles in it some shimmery effect as well as storm i think it's a beautiful palette and i think for someone that is starting out with makeup this eyeshadow palette is all you could ever need for studying out and have every other look from this eyeshadow palette it is one eyeshadow palette when i was buying i never had regrets and i'm glad that i waited until it became on special it became 315. they said it has no follow-ups that means you apply it you can apply it after you have applied your foundation you won't have any follow-ups from this i should that's what the brand says so it has the eyelashes and they say they are wispy lashes they are natural wispy lashes perfect for everyday use and they are reusable as well this is why i don't like to open things on camera it has the lash glue i think i think i like the lash glue it's so super transparent oh my god i think i love it i love this lash glue more than anything in this palette the eyelashes are like this and according to me they are out of my comfort zone but i'm going to wear them today so cheers to new product and new experience and i hope we get out of this tutorial still looking fabulous like we started okay 
I'm going to try and do one eye off camera then I will come back to do the rest of the eye on camera I think my battery is becoming too old and then there was this thing that I don't even know what it is after battling to, to, to lift this thing I found out that this is an eyeshadow it comes together with this eyeshadow palette and by the way they say once open you can use it for six months I think you should be the judge of this one I can't I can't really say much about it but I think it's a beautiful color for a smoky eye I think it can it can work oh my god look look what it does oh my god I think it can be a good eyeshadow for a smoky eye it's quite metallic black and I think it could make a beautiful eyeshadow then let me start off by doing one eye off camera and come back to do the rest of the eye and the whole face on camera and let's explore this eyeshadow palette i think i'm in love with it i think i might use it a lot more i love it i, I really love the colors i like how many different looks that one can get from here you can get from your everyday you can get from the glamorous you can get all sorts of looks from this eyeshadow palette and you guys i'm back and i have done one eye off camera and in a normal circumstances i will not wear any eyelashes that are not there like this ones i think for people that are scared of applying false lashes this could be the false lashes for you but for me there's no enough amount of lashes on this strip so i like the fact that it's seamless but it's much longer but the lashes are just not there so i think for the sake of this video i will continue with them on and maybe if i don't find them to be looking good i might change them but this is the palette you're going to use and by the way you guys i have used a number of eyeshadows from this eyeshadow palette i'm first going to prime my eyelid and i'm going to use gloria paris infallible and the shade is honey and you guys i uh, didn't hope to go pink oh by the way i think the only colors that could make sense were the ones that i chose i went with quite a number of eyeshadows and if you can be with me no 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 i'm not going to show it this way i will display it right here so that you can see the colors that i have used but i will call out the names the first eyeshadow that i'm going to apply as my transitioning shade it is going to be fabulous let me just secure my eye first and make sure that it is not creasing. I'm just going to apply it slightly. And I'm going to apply it like that. I'm just not going to make a lot of pigmentation for this particular eyeshadow. And the second transitioning shade I'm going to go to is side tracked. I'm just going to apply very lightly. According to me, these transitioning shades, uh, some of them, most of them are much deeper than the normal matte eyeshadows, but let's continue. And then on my outer corner, I'm going to go to Topic, and I'm just going to place it on my outer corner. And you can see, you guys, it's making the color, but it is not really making the deep color that i wanted and i'm going to go to those colors the way i have applied it on this eye and i'm going to use the eyeshadow date and i'm just going to then apply on the outer corner and i'm going to take my clean brush that i'm transitioning and diffuse off the harsh line and going back to fabulous i'm going to just staple towards the outer corner to ensure that we have transition our eyeshadow quite nicely and with the flat brush you guys i'm going to use the eyeshadow valentine and i'm just going to apply from the inner corner of my eyelid and this is how i'm applying it i'm just going to apply it like this so that you can be able to see the colors and i'm just going to leave it right there and then the second and shimmer eyeshadow that I'm then going to apply it will be Roma. Roma is a shimmery version of a dot. A dot is more like a clear kind of. And I'm using this big flat brush. I'm just going to apply 
on the middle part of my eyelid i'm going to take it slightly on top of my crease and i'm not cutting the crease because i'm going to fluff it out to buff it out and to make it seamless and then i'm just trying to transition these two eyeshadows and then i'm going to take feature which is the purple eyeshadow i'm going to then up towards the outer corner and transition roma and the deep eyeshadow that i have applied and i'm going back to the brush that i was using to apply roma and i'm going to try and transition roma and these two other eyeshadows and then with a concentrated eyeshadow brush i'm going to go to the eyeshadow snap it's a dark brown eyeshadow i'm just going to apply on the outer corner like that and with the finger that i was used to apply feature i'm just going to use that finger without adding any more eyeshadows on it just to ensure that it is still alive it does not disappear through the color snap and right now i'm still enforcing the deep eyeshadow with the color snap and then with the brush that i was applying the transitioning eyeshadows i'm going to then blend this eyeshadows like this and make a seamless transition for all of my eyeshadows i'm not sure you guys you are aware that i'm just taking back the finger without applying any more product on it and taking also the brush without applying any more product on it just to enforce the transition make it to be as seamless as possible and then take the brush that i was using to apply valentine and i'm going back to valentine to reinforce it also on my inner corner And who can say our eyeshadows are not seamlessly transitioned from one eyeshadow to another, from the matte to the shimmery. And we are looking fabulous and fantastic. I'm going to then apply an eyeliner. And this eyeliner that I'm going to apply, it is from Essence. It's a Essence Super Last Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to then make a wing. And you guys, I think the wing is perfect. And one thing that is left is for me to apply a glue on my eyelashes. And then I'm going to apply Maximum Definition Waterproof Mascara. It is from Essence. I'm just going to make a base for my fake lash application. And you guys, I think for the eyes, we are almost done. I did not use the lash glue that came with this eyelashes. But I decided to go with the duo and I used a black glue for our eyelash to look different from all other days. Normally, I used to use a, a glue that is that is transparent that is where sometimes it will show i think with someone else these lashes can be the only thing that can they can ever use but with me these lashes are just too thin for me i don't like the two dramatic ones but i'm going to just place them like this and then place on my outer corner And ensure that they are well seated and then I'm going to place on my inner corner. And once again you guys, these lashes I did not cut them. They just perfectly fit my eye length I guess. But I can tell they are not seated at the same area. Most definitely they are not seated at the same area. I can see this other part. It is slightly out or it could be either that the eyelashes are not well sized and i'm going to then clean the fallout of my wing eyeliner and i'm just going to use the concealer i always use the shade is honey i think this was also one of the mistakes i did cleaning the wing eye after applying my eyelashes it was not a good move but successfully we did it and by the way i'm going to apply the primer, the primer that I'm going to use, it is this from Wet n Wild. It's a photo focus face primer and it is a matte finish. And I'm just going to then apply all over my face. I'm going to make a base for my foundation application. I'm definitely sure that I'm going to edit a lot of curves from this makeup tutorial because your sister is having a terrible flu that lasted longer than how i know my flu to last my flu normally lasts three to four days but this one 
has started a long time ago. I did not really enjoy my long weekend. I've been struggling a lot with this blue. And for foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible. The shade is copper. And I'm going to apply on the middle part of my face. And I'm going to then go right ahead and I'm going to blend. And you guys, the reason why I always start on the middle part of my face with my foundation application because you don't need a lot of foundation towards the outer part of your face. You need a, a very minimal amount of foundation right there. But in the middle part of your face, that is where you need a slightly more foundation than on the outer part of your, of your face. And by the way, this foundation does oxidize I will not be looking this way the whole day and I know I'm looking very orange or very yellowish kind of here I will thank the sponge the beauty blender from real techniques it's quite pricey but I don't really regret ever taking the chinching and buying it I definitely do not regret and I think you guys I have to go right ahead and then apply Oh sh I prefer to highlight my face first before I could apply any kind of contour and I'm going to use Laura Perez Infallible, the shade is Honey. This is the only sh concealer shade I always use in this channel. At first I was using Essence and the color was 70 Dark Caramel, I think it was Dark Caramel. The reason why I stopped using it is because it was making my skin to be very warm and I didn't like the warm effect. I felt like it was going to destroy my skin so I decided to do away with it. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to then blend the concealer highlight on my cheeks. And if at some point you guys will find that I am not doing any justice, you are not seeing anything because of my mirrors, I really am blind, so I can hardly see something that is 30 centimeters away from me with my bare eyes without having any contact lenses or any spectacles. But I was hoping to fix that issue, but right now I'm doubting it. I doubt if I will be able to do it not because of the finances but the finance could be the reason but the major reason for me to wish to postpone this the implants operation is because i just started working and according to me i have not really benefited from all the hard works part of me wish to go and spoil me part of me think the only spoiling i can do it could be to have my eyes and to see with a translucent powder from Yatli, I'm then setting under my eyes. Then I'm going to set my forehead as well. And as you can see, you guys, I know it looks um, it looks like my highlighter is quite light, but this is merely just two shades from my foundation shade because I have used the foundation from L'Oreal Paris, and the shade for this foundation is 340, and this one concealer that I highlighted with is 338 it is just two shades or one shade I don't remember seeing 339 so this could be one shade from my foundation shade which is 340 I'm then going to use this Palladio matte bronzer and I'm just going to dip in down the perimeters of my face and I think this wig is going to destroy my day the reason why we dip in down on this side, on your cheekbone, it is because we want your face to look naturally. Before you apply your makeup, before you apply your foundation and everything else, your face has this dark shadow right here. Now we are deepening it down, we are bringing back the shadow that you have naturally. So that you can be the very same person that we know, you are not too transformed to be someone else that you are not. You just don't have this one color, but you have the natural looking color even though you have applied your makeup. More than this, it will be now destroying the look. The skin will be looking too deepened, which is not what we are aiming for. And I'm going to take my makeup sponge and I'm going to just I run between my contour or my bronzer and just to do away with the harsh line.
And you guys, my hair, I think it reminds me why I don't really like to wear the weaves. And by the way, this weave that I'm having right here, I feel robbed when I bought it. The person that was selling it, she sold my colleague a nice weave. But, and when I wanted to return it, she just disappeared. So I didn't know where to return, which address to return it to because I bought it online. But my colleague used to buy it from her and she get the best. But when I did, I found two textures that were not any way closer to each other. And in front here, it's a deep wave, I think deep wave. And then here at the back, towards the back, from where the frontal is, it is more of a kinky, jelly kink, something like it. So I'm definitely not happy. That is why I never wear it the way it is. And by the way, I bought it from Doll's Look. They advertise it on Instagram. I, I found them from Instagram, but I also was referred to by my colleague and she always gets the nice wigs from them. But when it came to me, it happened to be better. And then going back to the eyeshadow snap, I'm going to apply on my under eye. There are slight follows. Maybe it's the brush that I'm having, but the pigment from this eyeshadow, especially for the matte shadows, you guys, you can never regret. I don't regret ever buying this eyeshadow palette. I don't regret it. I don't. I don't regret getting this eyeshadow palette because the pigment from the matte shadows is everything to die for. I'm going to take my LA Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner and the shade is super bright. I'm then going to apply on my lower lash line i think this is a very beautiful eye look to get from this actual palette i think when you are looking at it this way you can see which eyeshadows that will match you don't get a clear picture on how you may be looking but if you are a beginner this could be the only actual palette you ever needed don't say it in there I did it to tell you this could be the only eyeshadow you ever needed, especially when it has the neutral, the nudes, the browns, and the shimmer, all sorts of colors. For some countries, it will be spring. So when it's spring, you can get the looks right here. And for us who are reaching out to the autumn or the fall, these eyeshadows they still fit in each and every season. This is it. And I'm going to use Driven and I'm going to apply it on my inner corner. It is not too bright. According to me, it's not too bright the way I like to highlight. But it is really is doing the work. Driven has done the work for us. And the next thing that I'm going to then you do, it will be applying the mascara on my lower lashes. And I think right now my kids are supposed to be coming very much angry. I think it's quite rare where you can find the mascara that really make your eyelashes to pop out and to come out. I think uh, my favorite for now, it is the L'Oreal Paris Extra Black Mascara. That I know it does not fail me. Believe me you, it doesn't fail me. And because I have applied the pink eyeshadows, I decided to go with a pink blush. It's from Max Factor and color is Luscious Plum number 45. I'm just going to then apply and just to have a monochromatic look and by the way my kids are driving me mad god it's so hard to film while these kids are at home they driving me <laughs> and by the way i'm going to continue and i'm going to apply my highlighters and in this one it is skin light from revlon and i'm just going to apply on my cupid's bow I'm then going to apply on my nose bridge and I'm then going to go up ahead and I'm going to apply on my eyebrow bone to enlighten it. Ah, thank I forgot to highlight my cheeks. Baby, this kids are driving me crazy, okay? Right now I forgot to highlight my cheeks. That's crime against nature. How can we come to the studio and really not do the interface on camera because the kids are driving us crazy? and i think except the fact that the blush is really out and that way it's tempting me to utilize a different lip gloss i had brought two 
but I decided to go with this one because I think it will definitely suit my eyes better than the other one. How about I exaggerate things and take this lip look one notch up and really Let's start from the beginning. The lip gloss that I have applied is Startup Pink. It is from Avon. And this one it is from Essence. It is called What the Fake. It's a plumping lip filler. It has hyaluronic acid and it has vitamin E. With a Yatli in the shade caramelized, I'm going to then apply all over my face and I'm going to balance and ensure that my face has a nice beautiful color. My lips are very slippery, sister. They are super slippery. Yeah? And I hardly feel I hardly even feel that I have lips. I think this lip filler it better not have me reacting to the last thing that is then left is using Yatli London 3 in 1 is a makeup setting spray, is a primer, is a setter, and is a refresher. And I'm going to hold it arm's length and I'm just going to sprinkle all over my face and set the look. And I really have to say to you guys that I've been loving this setting spray with all of me for the very same fact that it will make my skin to be moist, not too dry just moist not too shiny and it is looking beautiful let me head on to wrapping up this makeup tutorial hi you guys this is the final look of a tutorial i really hope you love it i hope you will share do press notification button every time miss royalty upload you will be notified and this is miss royalty signing off